Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening from wherever you're watching me. Happy new month. <laughs> Today is May 1st. We thank God for life. Welcome to another interesting edition of No Husband with IT. My name is Itunu. How are you doing? Thank you to all of my subscribers, everyone who has lent their voices, everyone who had um, lent me to their insight. I appreciate all of you. God bless you. So today I'm going to be discussing uh, what um, a former pastor of um, Dunamis Church spoke about um, the situation on ground. We're still on it. That's um, concerning uh, Osin Achinwachupo. So I'm going to allow you to to see him. Have you subscribed for new? Those of you who are seeing this channel for this first time, okay, this is where we talk about um, events, issues, as it is, you know, things as they are. No holds bad. We don't hide. We don't, no apology to anybody. We just say the way it is. Maybe political, religious, economic, whatever in Africa, Nigeria specifically. So um let me allow you to this is um this is Pastor uh, Oloche Adaji. He was with uh, Dunamis Church for 20 years uh before he left. <laughs> uh people have said a lot of things concerning his um is uh leaving the ministry that's not even what we want to discuss today i want us to look at what he said and um when i come back i will you know talk some more as usual and then we will wrap it up for today so let me allow you to to see the clip all right um we want to condone with the body of Christ mm. and the family of Osinachi mm. over her death. Mm. Um, it's, it's so unfortunate, it's so unfortunate. Um, that such great gift has been cut short. Mm. And um, just just the, the, the body of Christ and had, had this generation denied mm. such great asset and great voice. Mm. Um, but however, um, the universe is a university. There are mm. too many things to learn. Mm. Especially when you look at uh, her death. Of course, a lot of revelations are coming out. Mm. And then the one coming from the children, they are, they are, they are very direct mm. about the domestic violence from the husband. Um, how much the husband has been molesting her, beating her. Uh, she has two cars that she literally cannot use. And then the, 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 the situation that led to her death, um, we want to say this today, that no man, no husband has the right to torture a wife, mm. no matter what. No man has the right to beat a wife. Mm. The first place, you didn't marry an enemy. If it's an enemy, outrightly declare war against your enemies. Mm. But to say that you you love her, you want to marry her, and then you go to her parents to demand for her hands in marriage, go through all the traditional rights, only to bring home uh, an instrument of torture, violence. Mm. So this happening is so unfortunate. Mm. I want to say that no real man beats a wife. Mm. If you want to fight, there are appropriate places, designated places where your muscles can be, um, your energy can be expressed. Go to the motor park, for instance. A lot of art bureau, they are available mm. to fight. And, and um, go to the ring. We still have um, the, the boxing uh, tournaments. and We have all designated places where um, your capacity to fight can be expressed. But to be malhandling a wife, somebody you have, a, you call a wife, you live with under the same roof. Who cooks for you? Mother of your children. Mother of your children. This bed to children for you. It's so unfortunate. Mm. And we want to totally discourage this. The reason we are saying this now, doing this um, video, is to lend our voice to a lot of people that are already speaking. Mm. I want to totally say this is unacceptable mm. and this is never encouraged. This is totally discouraged. Mm. Uh, you are tired of your wife, you communicate her to her parents. Mm. 
to let our parents know. Let our parents have her. And um, that is the most appropriate thing to do. But to keep her bitter, and now this unfortunate situation of somebody tortured to death mm. is so, so, so terrible. And um, I also must say this. Woman, anybody beating you, anybody that is literally uh, abusing you, I won't say divorce him, but I will encourage separation. I, I, I decided to think and put myself in the, the shoes of this family. Will I allow my daughter, I mean, put religion aside, my daughter to be beaten like this? Beaten, comes back with swollen faces, or even such torture. I will never accept it. The Holy Ghost field, the anointing, fire on my head. Mm. I will take my daughter away from that place. And I will encourage the same to every woman who is on, undergoing this kind of abuse. Please don't hide it. Mm. Speak out. Mm. You can cry to your pastor. You can cry to your family. You can cry to his own family. And if his family uh, they are indifferent, his family members are indifferent, the father, mother, if they are alive, they are indifferent, cry to the church, cry to your mother, cry to your father, cry to your spiritual authority. And where none of all of that, none is working, please run away for your life. Mm. Carry your things and run away for your life. When he comes down to his senses and you still see that uh, he's, he's, he's back to the person who was in love enough to see and admire me and call for marriage, you can return back. But if okay, so... Um usually i don't want to waste your time on too long videos yeah so that's that's why i even play it, it that's that um clip is not recent he did that video actually shortly after the incident happened now this this is a man that was with um dunamis church for 20 years okay it was it was uh previously with um on with the, in the amaraba church in abuja for those of us who are not Nigerians, Maraba, in Mara, they call it Maraba at times, is a suburb in, in Abuja. All right. So he was there up until 2005 when um, he was posted to their church in Makodi after uh, a, a pastor that was there, one uh, pastor King Omudu left. And um, it was in Makodi. And we learned that he was promised to be <laughs> to be to be transferred to to go and head London branch, and then uh, in it is, I mean changed his mind again and took him to uh, Podakos. So it was you know I think that was what caused their you know the misunderstanding. And then last year two thousand and twenty one to twenty twenty one he left. To go and start his own ministry. Why I'm even bringing this man up is that if uh, Osinachi, you heard what he said, if a man is maltreating you, pack your bags and leave. Uh, we, I want to bring this um, to juxtapose this message. So the one they preach, the nature preaches in his church that no, no condition for divorce. So people, there are the influence pastors have on their members, I've said it before on this channel, it, it cannot be, it cannot be, <laughs> you can't even imagine it. The influence is so much. So when someone sits, let's even take it that, uh, okay, she didn't tell her, him, they don't know, which was a lie. We all, we've all, uh, all established that. And she's sitting, she was sitting on that, the message that I'm saying every day that, uh, no, con no, no, no reason for divorce. No reason for separation. You just have to the marriage is uh, for better, for worse, do or die. You have to be there. Somebody sitting under that kind of teaching, and somebody t sitting under this kind of teaching that hey, if things is not are not uh, if my demand is battering, you pack your things and leave. What do you if Yosinaji has been sitting under this kind of messages? What do you think? Will have been her mindset. People, influence is very key. And don't forget this, people.
they are influencers. What they say is 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 like decree. So this man, you know, came out and uh, and said this. Now, again, why I am bringing this video up again is that if a nature like we've been saying from day one, if a nature had done something like this immediately that he came back from his uh, his Cameroon Kame trip and did something like this. I said it the other time. I've not even seen this video. When I said it in that other, my video last, we have we've been on this thing for like two weeks now, that, hey, if you had come back and, you know, did something short like this, okay, my mind go to the, I just, I mean, it's unfortunate. I just lost a, a, a daughter in the Lord to circumstances I'm still investigating. Put it that way. My heart, my heart goes to the family. We please join us in prayer with them. We we'll get to the root of this matter. That's all. Because, but because we we're dragging uh, uh, a nature on the social media, then it, 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 it now decides to come and say something. And that something was it even something? It was about to defend himself. So ultimately, people, like we always say, your life is in your hands. Not in the hands of any of your pastors. No, because uh, like you see now, life has moved on with the nature and this church. I mean, they are they are bubbling, announcing increase, announcing three services and all that and all that. So people, I also let me drop this quickly, you know, as part of the update because we are still on it. We won't stop until justice is... Um, is uh, delivered, is served, and we hope Nigerian government, we the judicial system in gov in, in Nigeria, we do justice to this, uh, because this case now is a case of state against uh, Peter Uwanchuku. I, I believe with the involvement of, gov of the government, government will be providing lawyer, you know, for the family. Yeah, and I, I and I hope the case is financed such that they will get justice because we know the kind of uh, environment we are. We are I have seen these situations where uh, government lawyers were not even given transport money, were not given money, so they, they relax. So government, uh, Mrs. Pauline Talem, she has been on this, the uh, Minister for uh, Women Affairs in Nigeria, please, uh ensure that people that will i mean the lawyers that government will be giving to this family will be well catered for because if a lawyer is not well catered for then you can't expect such lawyer to be productive that's a fact so people thank you very much i i said let me quickly do this uh so thanks a lot please subscribe to this channel share this video like and then let me know your thoughts People go to church with your brain intact. Don't, don't leave your brain at home and, and then go to church. Whew, until I see you again very shortly, maybe tomorrow or so. I love you so much and mm, keep safe and God bless you. Bye.